Well, if Hollywood made a movie about the old firm, it would sweep the board at the Oscars, but not even they could make it as good as the real thing. We have the star men in leading roles. We have a top director for football, plus a supporting cast of 50,000 inside Ibrox, with millions on location around the world. It's a Sunday lunchtime screening for this blockbuster, but parental guidance is recommended. Paul Lambert. Celtic fans will be delighted to see him back in action. Such a strong influence for them, as is Moravci. Offside flag will go up against Tommy Johnson. Yeah, it's a good early ball here from Paul Lambert. Tommy Johnson on his way, and I'll tell you what, I think he's onside when the ball is played. The flag goes up very early, but it's an example of the, the kind of runs that Celtic will be wanting from Tommy Johnson. And as I said, he'll stretch defenders, he'll move defenders, and that will suit Mark Viduka fine. Rangers and Celtic complete a century today. It's their 100th meeting since the Scottish Premier was formed in the mid-70s. An occasion that Kenny Dalglish often graced as a player, now in charge. It remains to be seen whether he will take the job permanently, though. Stefan Mahi. And he's forced to concede the throw. Yeah, that all came from Barry Ferguson, in running 40 yards there to press Tom Boyd there. Kanchelskis, who's never completed 90 minutes of an old firm game, he's either been subbed or a sub. Wallace, bit of a stray one, but here's Claudio Reyna. Amoruso. Rangers getting into their stride. Reyna. And that will be a free kick. Now it's going to be Lubo Moravchik, Ian, who partners Mark Viduka up front today. Tom Johnson. Tommy Johnson playing a bit deeper on the left hand side. And the last time that Moravchik played up front against Rangers, I think, was the 5 1 game last winter. Billy Dodds touches it on towards Van Bronckhorst, but Tom Boyd was alert to the threat. Uh, terrific first touch there, though, Billy Dodds, though, to to play Van Bronckhorst in in the first place. Albert's throw towards Wallace, away by Boyd. Ferguson, it does go through to Kanchelskis, who has Mahi to contend with. And he's got the corner. Yeah, I think that's going to be a, a critical contest in this game. And I think Rangers will try and isolate Andrei Kanchelskis on that side, try to get him one-on-one -on -one with Stefan Mahi, who's very good going forward, but not the best on the back foot. Time to jostle for position. Giovanni van Bronckhorst with a real swirling corner. And Kanchelskis knocked it across, and it's in from Albert. What a start for Rangers. And they have got it in for Celtic again. Well, they're so dangerous, these, free, these are corner kicks. Van Bronckhorst is very, very deep. No one picking up at the back post at all. Kanchelskis heads it back across goal. And Alberts has the simplest of tasks. And that's a shocking defensive goal for Celtic to lose with so many players goal side of the ball. A shocking goal to lose. And you can see the delight in Dick Advocat's face. And I'll bet you he can't believe just how easily that goal has come along. Well, Alberts, of course, missed a penalty against Celtic earlier this month. He's just made amends. And they were queuing up to head that in because if Alberts wasn't going to do it, Billy Dodds was. Alberts has now scored in three of the last five old firm encounters in the league. And Celtic rocked and stunned. I'll tell you what, there'll be a bit of an inquest into that goal, and there has to be nobody picking up Andrei Kanchelskis at the back post when the corner was thrown in. The man they call the hammer, delivering a hammer blow to Celtic. But here's Ferguson as they go in search for another. Rod Wallace battling 
with Boyd. And some treatment will be required here. Stefan Mahi has a problem. And as a precaution, they're warming up Olivier Tebbly, but uh, I'm sure he'll be OK. Yeah, it looks as if he's, he's struggling, Stefan Mai. They certainly won't want to make uh, a change unless they have to, not this early in the match. But what a poor goal it was that uh, Celtic lost. Poor goal defensively, I mean. It's just a deep-thrown corner, but there's no-one on Kanchelskis as he heads it back across, and certainly no-one picking up either George Alberts or Billy Dodge. It was take your pick there between the two of them to see who finished it off. Alberts made sure it was him, his 13th of the season. Stefan Mahi really struggling by the look of it for Celtic. So Celtic with problems already in the opening minutes. A goal down and they might be about to lose Mahi. Which will cause will call for a bit of a reorganization. Yeah, well they could bring Tebley on and move Tom Boyd to that side, and that wouldn't trouble them too much. But I don't think in a game of this importance you really want to use your substitutes as early as this unless you have to. And sadly for Celtic, it looks as if Stefan Mahi's involvement in this game is about to come to an end. And it certainly didn't uh, appear to be a great deal in this challenge. Well, completely off the ball there. I, don't, I really don't know what happened there, but he's in some distress. Well, it's a strange one for Stefan Mahi, but sadly his old firm game is over. He'll be replaced by the Ivory Coast international Olivier Tebeli, who was held in a military camp in his homeland recently after a poor showing in the African Nations Cup. He got back in time to play against Inverness Cali Thistle in the Cup and probably thought the military camp wasn't such a bad idea after all. Rangers in control, as they usually are against Celtic. Boyd will let that one trickle behind that. Yeah, Olivier Tebel is going to play left fullback now, left uh, side of a back four. Uh, Stefan Mahe, and he's clearly in a lot of pain there, Ian. Viduka's header. McNamara to Tommy Johnson. Here's Lambert. Reset. Celtic looking to hit back. Oh, it's not being cleared at all. And Viduka's in there, and Maratchik's effort was blocked. And now there's some concern for Rangers, but they appear to have weathered that particular storm goal kick. Yeah, the first bit of encouragement for Celtic in the match, and it's all down to the, the footwork of Mark Viduka here. He appears to have nowhere to go here, Rangers' bodies go side, and all of a sudden he slips away, sets up the chance there for Lubo Moravchik. And another example there, and Kenny Douglas will want more of that from Mark Viduka this afternoon. Rangers 12 points clear of Celtic, they've been sailing away towards the title. And if the gap widens to 15 today, they won't even be a dot on Celtic's horizon. They'll be out of sight. Undoubtedly uncatchable. Celtic would need to keep winning and hope that Rangers slip up five times. Football is a funny game, but it's not that much of a hoot. Wallace, Albets tried to return it. Boyd in the way. Lubomir Moravchik, sidestepping Albets. Paul Lambert. Petrov was the furthest man forward for Celtic and he's certainly closing Stefan Kloss down <laughs> the German keeper was a lot calmer about that than a lot of the Rangers fans yeah Petrov did well there putting Kloss under pressure and he's not the most comfortable in this situation Stefan Kloss he wants a lot of time here 
Then he gets uh, off the hook eventually, but a warning there for him. Having lifted the League Cup last week, Celtic are 1 0 up on Rangers in this season's trophy count, but you can't help feeling that there's an equaliser coming soon for Dick Advocat and his team. And don't rule out a last gas winner at the end of May. Celtic looking for a response here though, Viduka's done well. It's come out to McNamara. Away by Amoruso. Holbets could be on for a break here, but Mialbi got there first. Holbets though does try and release Dodds after all. And Tom Boyd is covering. Ten minutes played and it's been pretty fast and frantic but then that is the norm in these games Mialbi looking for Tebili Claudio Reyna settling for the throw a must win game for Celtic and how many times have we said that when these old firm contests come around? So often in recent times, when it comes to the crunch, Rangers are the team on the case. Lorenzo Amoruso. Dodds was obstructed by Vidar Recep. Yeah, it's a good spot there by Willie Young because as uh, Lorenzo Amoruso was about to play the pass, Dodds was clearly impeded. Amoruso just trying to knock the ball over the top for Billy Dodds and you see Vida Reset leading with the right arm there. But this is exactly the start that Rangers would have wanted in. They don't have to be in a hurry now, they can sit in. And quite happily hit Celtic uh, on the break. The talented Van Bronckhorst takes the free kick. Kanchelskis coming in on it, as he did on Van Bronckhorst's corner for the goal. Tebele hassling him. And Tebele doing well. Signed from Sheffield United. It was Steve Bruce who brought him there. Rysev. Albert though, steps in. He looks for Wallace. So too much of it to Mialbi. Billy Dodds being tracked by his Scottish international teammate Boyd. And that's bounced off Van Bronckhorst. It'll be a throw. A consistent performer in his time at Rangers, Giovanni van Bronckhorst, and trying to become a regular in the Dutch national side, although that's easier said than done when you consider the amount of talent they have at their disposal. This time, Rangers get the throw. Halbert's getting ready to take the throw. A series of throw-ins down in that corner. It's Celtic's turn again. Dodds. Van Bronckhorst. Celtic really did struggle to dig that one out. And they might struggle here. Half a Newman. Newman's delivery. Mialbi with the clearance Tebele has figured in all the old firm games this season now yeah Barry Ferguson does well here against Dylan Petrov and as you would have expected in this game every challenge every 50-50 being fiercely contested
And Broncor standing over this free kick. And Broncor's with the delivery, which is comfortably taken by Gould, and a huge kick up towards Viduka, but Scott Wilson did enough to deal with that. The player camp now switches to Paul Lambert. You can keep a check on him on Sky Digital Channel 404. Tebele's throw, Mark Viduka. Celtic seeking their first win in seven old firm games since they thrashed Rangers 5-1 last season. But up against it already here. Tebele, an early sub for the injured Mahi with the throw. Moravchik looking to set it up for McNamara. And Maruso cleared. Newman. Dodds. Johnson. McNamara nearby. He's looked for Viduka. It's only cleared as far as Paul Lambert. Celtic threatening here. McNamara on by Tommy Johnson, but it dribbles through to the keeper, Stefan Kloss. Yeah, I think he just tried to play Mark Viduka in there with the, the first time left foot pass. Just tries to find an angle there to play Viduka in. Doesn't uh, quite come off for Tommy Johnson. Reina, Kanchelskis, taking on Tebele. Well, the duel between Andre Kanchelskis and Stefan Mahi did not last long. Mahi stretched it off, Kanchelskis now up against Tebele, but it looks like being an equally intriguing tussle between those two. Reset. On by McNamara, rather hurriedly so. That took a bobble as Arthur Newman went to clear. Dick Advocat won the treble for Rangers in his first season. Can't do that again, but the double is a distinct possibility. Petrov leaves it for Jackie McNamara. Johnson helps it on. Uncompromising clearance from Amoruso. Bit like a handball from Van Bronckhorst. Yeah, Willie Young right on top of it, no doubt about, about that one, Ian. See, I think I have to say they're a goal down, but they're getting some great movement from midfield. Both Petrov and uh, Tommy Johnson prepared to go beyond the front two. And they're going to have to continue to be prepared to, to get forward if Celtic are going to salvage anything from this game. Tebele's header. Barry Ferguson. Ferguson, how about that for a pass? It's released Kanchelskis. Dodds and Wallace are waiting, but it wasn't the sort of centre that was required by Rangers. Now Moravchik hurt by Ferguson's challenge. Yeah, both sides of Barry Ferguson there, because what a wonderful early ball it was to release Kanchelskis on the right-hand side in the, the first place. And then we see him going in heavily there to give away the the free kick on Lubo Moravchik, but what a wonderful pass inside Olivier Tevely. It's exactly the kind of service that Andre Kinchelsius will be wanting this afternoon. And it was a poor final ball into the box. Barry Ferguson on Wednesday night will be up against that rather useful French midfield at Hampden Park, live on Sky Sports. Moravchik, McNamara. Away by Reyna, on by Wallace. Arthur Newman, a real class act. Dodds, unable to smuggle it past the giant frame of Mialbi. Here's another giant frame, Mark Viduka. It was Newman's tackle, it was Ferguson's pass. 
Kanchelskis on the rampage again. Slipping it through for Rod Wallace. And he's got the corner off Boyd. Yeah, good defensive run there by Tom Boyd. Just tracks Rod Wallace all the way. And does enough to make the block. But that's a danger for Celtic now. Committing so many bodies forward, they're always liable to be hurt on the counter. Celtic will be hoping to defend this corner a little better than they defended the one which led to the goal for George Albert. Rangers hoping for a similar scenario. It's whipped in by Van Bronckhorst, but taken by Jonathan Gould. Now, Rangers could be a bit stretched at the back here. They could have been, except that Moravchik gave it straight to Reyna. Albert. Just going to veer away from Van Bronckhorst. Rangers have only lost three of the last 24 showdowns with Celtic, such has been their dominance in this fixture in recent times. If Celtic don't try them today, it'll be only the fifth season since the Premier began that they'd have failed to win any of the four Old Firm games. And on the previous four occasions, Rangers were champions. Viduka, he's going to get there. Couldn't get much on the cross, though. Helped on by Billy Dodds, but there was nobody further forward than him. Reset. Mialbi. Lambert. Moravchik. Prodded out by Barry Ferguson. 22 years of age, some future ahead of him. The present's not bad either. Wallace, up towards Dodds, and free kick given against the man who's scored in his last four league games against Celtic for Rangers, in his old firm initiation, and for Dundee United. Helped on by Viduka, but again, no problems for Rangers there. More football to come later this afternoon. After the action and the reaction from Ibrox, another derby. We head down to London for West Ham against Wimbledon. Lambert, Viduka. Nice touch to Petrov, and it's found its way to McNamara and Tommy Johnson. Plenty of power on it, but I think the free kick has been given for an earlier offence. And not only that, there's going to be a yellow card brandished here. And maybe yeah, for something said. It has to be dissent. Ian, that's all it can be for. Celtic felt they should have been allowed to, to go on there. Yellow card for Jackie McNamara. And it means he can't afford another rash challenge. Going to be walking on ice now. I think it's a free kick given out for the challenge on Scott Wilson on the edge of the box. First yellow card of this old firm contest then goes to McNamara. Amoruso's kick, Kanchelski's chasing, but Gould quickly out. Moravchik neatly finding Viduka. Still going, two men on him, but he does have a few tricks. <laughs> That's remarkable, Ian, for such a, a big fella, that uh, his footwork is as, as nimble as that, it really is. And Celtic will have to get the ball into his feet in the last third of the pitch if they're to get anything from this game. He's the, the best bet. <laughs> Tremendous technique here from Viduka. Two Rangers players closing him down. And he knows exactly what he's doing there. 27 goals this season for Mark Viduka. 
He turned up at Ibrox in a very summery suit today, taking advantage, he said, of the fact that the sun was shining in Glasgow for a change. Yeah, Celtic just edging it in terms of, of possession, in, but that'll be a little uh, consolation for the, the goal they lost. His reset, though, as they look to bite back, and free kick for Wallace's tackle. He claims he got the ball. Uh, once again, the Willie Young just a couple of yards away. And if he did get any of the ball, it wasn't a great deal. And it's a free kick in a, a decent position for Celtic here. Typical forwards challenge there, a clumsy one. Moravchik will certainly be on the scene here. Scored twice when Celtic thrashed Rangers. 5-1 last season, it was only his third game for the club and it made him an instant hero. Stefan Kloss though, one of the best shot stoppers around. What have Celtic got up their sleeve here? It's actually set up for Johnson! Ooh, just wide. Yeah, not a bad effort there from Tommy Johnson. I think he actually hits it into the ground here. Being closed down quickly by Giovanni van Bronckhorst and just dragged the shot wide of the target. Stefan Klaus scrambling across towards his left-hand post, but... I think he knew that uh, he had it covered. Recev's header. Recev again offside against Mark Viduka. 24 years of age. Lots of speculation about his future. It's the Rangers fans who are in full voice. After an early goal from George Albert. And although Celtic have edged the possession, they haven't been able to come up with a response yet. Wallace is going to cut that out, although he's inadvertently helped it on to Viduka. McNamara just trickled over his boots, allowing Rayner to stab it away. Tebbly with a firm challenge. And Viduka putting himself about two. You have to put yourself about in these games, mind you. I'll tell you what, we're 50 yards away and I felt that one up here. <laughs> That's a challenge and a half. Been on the receiving end of a few of those, no doubt. That's a fine try, actually, on the turn. Well, Lubo Moravchik is capable from this kind of distance. Stefan Klaus perfectly positioned on that occasion. Celtic last one at Ibrox six years ago. John Collins and Paul McStay on target in a 2-0 success. Kanchelskis. Ferguson. Newman. Albets. Unable to contend with the twin assault on him by Recep and McNamara. Albert's ordered to go back a few yards and Boyd was much more awake than Wallace was in waiting for the throw. Oh, Mialbi's clearance has gone straight to Dodds. But he and Wallace not quite on the same wavelength. Newman.
Tick out for Cap. Fuming. Just a bit. <laughs> Lives and breathes the game. Africa. Newman. He was crowded out. Van Bronckhorst got a shot in. Oh, and it was slithering towards Jonathan Gold at a fair speed. Yeah, there was a fair bit of pace on it, Ian, and they were watering the pitch when we arrived at the ground earlier today, and I think that explains the difficulty that uh, Jonathan Gould has with this. He's down in good time, and it just slips away from the gloves. Good effort there from Giovanni van Bronckhorst. Jonathan Gould relieved to see it finishing wide. Van Bronckhorst whips in one of those cracking corners. Gould on the end of it, but here is Hanchelskis, who's going the wrong way at the moment. <laughs> it's going all the way back. Ferguson. Dodds. Reina. Ferguson. Another precise pass through to Kanchelskis and off Tebele for a corner. Yeah, great movement from Rangers up front there. The crossover run there. Kanchelskis goes right, Wallace to the back post. Olivier Tebele did just enough. For the final 15 minutes of the first half, the player cam is on the goal scorer, George Albert. Celtic with another Van Bronckhorst corner to contend with. And it's again gone all the way through. Albets, he's been tripped, has he? No, Willie Young has let everyone get on with it. Ferguson, another fine pass from him, and Amoruso had stayed forward, and he proved but he's not much of a winger when it comes to putting across yeah, it. I think he should have left it there for Giovanni van Bronckhorst, who was up on the right-hand side as well, Ian. And there was no shortage of support at the back post. All knocked in behind there, and van Bronckhorst is in perfect position to deliver this. Wallace and Dodds had gone forward. Celtic have got another injury scare now. Tom Boyd has taken a knock on the knee. They've already lost Stefan Mahi, stretch it off. Kenny Dalglish bringing on Olivier Tebele in his place. It's not quite happening for Kenny in this game. Yeah, I think the one thing that will anger Kenny today, Ian, is the manner in which they, they lost the, the goal. And it's always disappointing to lose a goal in this fixture in particular, but when the opposition don't have to work for it, it's particularly sore. And it was a... A floated corner to the back post, no marking in that position. That has cost Celtic so dearly. Well, this is where Tom Boyd goes down. Still being treated at the moment by Brian Scott, and Celtic will be keen to see him back in his feet, having already lost a, a defender through injury. McNamara, but the offside flag will go up against Viduka, who has plenty to say about it. Yeah, that must have been tight, though, Ian. Flag was certainly up quickly enough. The ball travels a long way. Well, there's nothing in that. Rangers have only lost once all season in the Scottish Premier League. Somewhat surprisingly to Dundee here. Celtic, on the other hand, have already lost seven games. Far, far too many. Ferguson's cushion header. Here's Wallace. And Claudio Arena not happy with Tommy Johnson's late lunge. Yeah, and you can understand why Tommy Johnson well late with the, the challenge there. And that's why Reyna is one of the most mild-mannered players you'll ever meet. That's why he's so upset there. 
Albet. Dealt with by Mialbi. Now reset. It bounced off Moravchik. Rangers had scored ten goals in their last two games coming into this one. And incredibly, there were eight different scorers of those ten goals. They really do come from everywhere in this team. Van Bronckhorst, and he's been caught by Paul Lambert. Yeah, immediate acknowledgement there from Paul Lambert. Perhaps fortunate that uh, he's not shown a yellow card here. Again, he's well late with the challenge there. Van Bronckhorst on his way, breaking into a good forward position. And Paul Lambert's fortunate to escape a yellow. Wilson leaving it for Barry Ferguson. He's a good man to leave it to. Scott away by Scott Wilson. And McNamara clambering over Arthur Newman. Yeah, it's all become very scrappy. Neither side really putting any passing moves together at all at the moment. Van Bronckhorst. He was looking for Kanchelskis, but it didn't get that far. Boyd, up towards Johnson, away by Wilson, Dodds, Wallace, Recef covering, Amoruso, Petrov, finding Viduka. And Amoruso muscles in in the battle of the big men. Yeah, he did very well there, Lorenzo Amoruso. Paul Lambert was caught by Ferguson then. And another challenge on Moravchik. They're all falling down at the moment. Reina. Yeah, Paul Young's a busy man here. Barry Ferguson, I think, going to be showed the yellow for the challenge on Paul Lambert. Well, that's the first tackle there on Paul Lambert. And it's a, another late one there by Claudio Reyna on Lubo Moravchik. Well, Barry Ferguson's got a yellow card. And I, I think Arthur Newman might have got one there. Uh, not quite sure why he might have got one, but I think he did. As a referee, you kind of need eyes in the back of your head in this game. So a double booking for Rangers. Jackie McNamara yellow carded for Celtic earlier. Typical old firm fair, really, for Willie Young to sort out. Well, Stylian Petrov is having a long, long run-up here. Rangers haven't bothered with a wall, apart from Rob Wallace. Petrov, it was a long way out. That's why they didn't bother with the wall. Here's Reyna. Now Albert on here to Rod Wallace. Oh, and what an interception by Johan Mialbi. Yeah, just wouldn't fall for Rod Wallace. Just ready to pull the trigger with the, the volley. Just wouldn't fall for him. Great break by Rangers, though. Good diagonal ball by Reyna. And another superb first-time ball from Alberts to play Rod Wallace in.
It's as physical as ever. Oh, Van Bronckhorst has released Kanchelskis. Kanchelskis surely. 2-0. Rangers are most definitely heading towards the title. There wasn't really much doubt anyway. There's absolutely no doubt now. Well, Giovanni Van Bronckhorst had a big hand in this goal. Celtic just trying to play offside here. They step up here. And instead decides, instead of picking out Wallace, to play Kanchelskis in, threw on the goalkeeper. And that is a fine finish there from Kanchelskis. Has a look up to see where Jonathan Gould is. And strokes it inside the right-hand post. But uh, tremendous aggression there by Giovanni Van Bronckhorst to create the chance in the first place. And that's a superb finish from the Ukrainian. Well, for all their possession, Celtic have had no reward and Rangers have been clinical when they've had to be. Andrei Kanchelskis has played in Manchester derbies, Merseyside derbies, some big games in Italy. He relishes occasions like this. And Rangers are really relishing it at the moment. And this man is involved in so much. Van Bronckhorst is away again. Eventually brushed out of the way. Paduka. Paul Lambert. Moravchik. Celtic need to make a fight of it. And soon, and they won't do it like that. A woeful effort from Lubo Moravchik. Yeah, not one he'll enjoy seeing again, Ian. Did well to make the room for the shot in the first place, just drags it onto his left side, and it doesn't really normally matter which side it falls to with this lad. He'll normally get the shot on target, and that just about sums up this first half for Celtic so far. And what a good finish this man came up with a few moments ago. And a lot of pressure on you when you're through in the goalkeeper in this game. And he keeps his head well enough to stroke it away. And that's a goal that has put Rangers well and truly in the driving seat now. I was saying earlier that Kanchelskis has either been subbed or been a sub in these old firm games. He certainly made his mark in this one. And now Albets. Kanchelskis is the one arriving in the box, but also there, of course, is Billy Dodds. Determined to go for goal himself. Moravchik now snaps it through towards Viduka, but Arthur Newman cuts across magnificently. Yeah, tremendous defending there by Arthur Newman. Providing the insurance there for the, the centre-backs. You see him, he's on his way here. He read the script early. And Viduka's no slouch himself, but Newman was still quick enough to, to get there. Tebeli hoisting it up towards Tommy Johnson, but that's going to go through to Stefan Kloss. And the scenes at Ibrox at the moment are almost reminiscent of the championship celebrations here last season. Remember they played Hearts, and although the game was goalless, they all came along for a party having clinched the title the week before at Celtic Park. Unless Celtic can come up with something soon, Rangers are going to go 15 points clear of Kenny Dalglish's team. I think he'll have to make a change even for changes sake and you're 2-0 down. The game at the moment is beyond Celtic, he's going to have to make changes. He has Mark Burchill he could bring on. Ayo Berkovic as well. And I think arguably these two will be uppermost in Kenny's thoughts at half-time. Dodds flick that on. Away by me, Albi. Mistake by Wilson. Tommy Johnson chasing, but Stefan Kloss sprung off his line. He was an absolute inspiration, Kloss, at Celtic Park earlier in the month. On by Dodds. Wallace looking to get there first, but Boyd does at the expense of a throw.
Albert. Newman, Wallace, Albert, incisive and decisive passing here. Kanchelskis' cross is going to come to Van Bronckhorst, and Wallace in there! And somehow it was blocked by Boyd, I think, for a corner. Yeah, Johan Mjelby did very well, though, as Van Bronckhorst knocks it back across goal. Mjelby makes a crucial challenge here. Deep ball by Kanchelskis, back across by Van Bronckhorst. And Mjalby was prepared to throw his head in there to deny Alberts. Great defending there from Johan Mjalby. Rangers 5 0 up on corners, 2 0 up on goals. Kanchelskis whips it in, and Maruso rising. It's a throw for Rangers in first half injury time. He doesn't look very happy, but he won't be until the professional job is completed. Until the full-time whistle goes. And even then, he won't be talking too much of titles, despite the enormous gap between these two. It's heavily up towards Tommy Johnson. Now Viduka. Celtic desperately need to give themselves a little hope before half-time. But Rangers are not in the mood to give anything away, although hang on, because Moravchik looking to make progress. Petrov. And Amoruso wasn't hanging around. Rysef tangling with Dodds. And Billy Dodds doing some defensive duty, although it's come to McNamara. And that was really a poor cross. Kanchelskis. Alberts. He absolutely adores these old firm games, George Alberts. And it was he who put Rangers on their way here with an early goal. Celtic all over the place from a corner and nowhere near the place when Andrei Kanchelskis strode through. The final Old Firm showdown of the season. Kanchelskis knocked it back, Albert knocked it in, and if he hadn't done so, Dodds would have done so. Kanchelskis kept his composure to double Rangers' advantage. Once again, they are in control of an old firm game and sensing more silverware. Half time, Rangers 2, Celtic 0. It's seven years since Rangers lost a league match here at Ibrox in which they scored first. Celtic turned it round then, although it was only 1 0. Now, Dick Advocat's men are 2 0 up. Mark Paduka is the subject of the player camp for the first 15 minutes of the second half and the Celtic fans will be hoping that they will see the ball next to him a lot in those 15 minutes. Rangers have been leading in 22 games at half-time this season and they went on to win 20 of them and drew the other two. So the size of the task facing Celtic is considerable. Rangers unbeaten in 15 games, just one defeat in their last 32 league matches. They are the major power in Scottish football and Celtic just cannot keep up at the moment. Jonathan Gould making his 11th appearance in an Old Firm game. Only one win. Wallace is looking to latch onto this, but Tom Boyd well aware. Although it wasn't the most effective of clearances. Straight up in the air. Albert. Wallace. Went behind Albert. Here's McNamara. 
Stefan Mahi, by the way, who was stretched off early on, will be going to hospital after the game. He has a swollen ankle. Wallace helped that on. But here's yeah, Boyd. He's, he's done well, Rod Wallace, today, once again. And I don't think he's, he's at his happiest when he's been asked to do long running and get in behind defenders. And he's being asked to do that shift at the moment because Billy Dodds is happier coming off and taking it into feet. And Wallace really has put in another fine shift for Dick Advocate this afternoon. A man who's won titles north and south of the border. Baduka. Spinning away from Amoruso. Now Lubo Moravchik. He'll get the throw. He takes it quickly. And Baduka's in there. And I think it's going to be a yellow card for diving. It is. Yeah, Willie Young immediately goes for the yellow card there. And he didn't need much encouragement to go down, Mark Viduka. Well, there's not a great deal in it there, the contact between Viduka and Scott Wilson. I don't think he can have too many complaints. Celtic, of course, desperate to get back into the game. So Mark Viduka gets a yellow card. Paduka with 30 goals in 32 league games for Celtic, an awesome record. He's scored against everyone in Scotland. Reset. It breaks for Amoruso. And now for Claudio Reyna. Barry Ferguson's making a magnificent run. There he is, Ferguson. Well, it almost deserved a goal. Uh, it's a fabulous run from Barry Ferguson. Delightfully picked out as well there with the ball over the top from Reyna. Good first touch. And he just can't get it on target. Wonderfully weighted pass here from Reyna. Ferguson does everything right but apply the finish. Van Bronckhorst. Miabi going to retrieve. And Wallace has kept it in. Wallace bearing down on goal. Billy Dodds, second chance. Billy Dodds. Oh, it's been ruled out, I think. It's been ruled out and it's not going to count. Well, just as well for Johan Mialbe, who gets ever so slack out on the touchline, losing it in the, in the first place here. He's in control of this situation. All of a sudden, he lets Wallace in. He's on his way. Billy Dodds makes a good run front post. I just wonder if it's offside. But what Rod Wallace does well here, this just sums up the difference between the, the two sides here. The attitude of Wallace, he's not prepared to give it up. And he puts a good ball into the, the front post. And we can only assume it's either offside against Dodds for the first ball and or Kanchelskis at the goal. Still 2-0 to Rangers. But they will be back for more, rest assured. Wallace, this is Newman, Wallace trying to get in again, and he was just beaten to it by Paul Lambert. Rangers seemingly in the mood for more goals. Woody Young just checking that Newman is OK. He missed the Motherwell match last week with a thigh strain and it's not quite 100%, but with Vidmar and Moore both out, they didn't want to lose him as well. Dodds. Newman. Albert. Newman. Here's Ferguson, but Mialbi scoops it away Celtic though under a bit of pressure at the start of the second half Albert's throw clattered clear by Mialbi McNamara Viduka 
And Viduka and Rusev combining to great effect for Celtic here. And Tommy Johnson is near post, but he prods it wide. Yeah, it's good defending by Reyna. Tracks him all the way across here, Claudia Reyna. Decent front post ball from reset. And look at Claudia Reyna, well in control of the situation there. And it's been a lean afternoon for Tommy Johnson and Mark Viduka. Rangers have now scored 99 goals in all competitions this season. Only 19 of them, though, scored by Scott. McNamara, read by Amoruso, who was rather blatantly obstructed by Recep, and they're not hanging around in taking the free kick. I'll bet, looking for Dodds, Gould's mothers. Maracic will get the free kick, nudged by Alberts. Yeah, Lubo Maracic at, at full stretch here. But no sign at the moment, Dean, of Celtic getting themselves back into this game. If anything, Rangers look like increasing this lead. Tom Boyd's free kick. Tommy Johnson chasing, and Scott Wilson comes across to clear. It's only his second Old Firm League game, and it's going a little better than his first one did. He'd already been sent off in a 5-1 defeat at Celtic last season. Lambert, Mialbi, it's taken over by Mark Viduka. Tommy Johnson unable to get near that. More frustration for Celtic. Celtic have scored in every away league game this season, but not yet in this one. Albert's throw, met by Mialbi, Fidar Reseth, Paul Lambert, he's got away from Albert's, this is more like it for Celtic, Lambert, but it's straight onto the chest of Amoruso, now Van Bronckhorst, perfect passing from Rangers, and now Kanchelskis, released by Barry Ferguson, of course, Dodds in there, Mialbi met it, but it comes to Van Bronckhorst. Well stopped by Gould, and well stopped again by Gould as Billy Dodds belted it back towards him. Yeah, Celtic being stretched right across the back now. Caught on the break once again by Kanchelsius down the right-hand side, and the players queuing up at the back post. Good double save by Jonathan Gould. Mialbi does well here. He's in touch with Dodds as the ball comes in. And then it's up to Jonathan Gould to do his bit. Well, Lorenzo Amoruso is on an amazing run here. <laughs> Which delighted the majority inside Ibrox. Claudio Reyna. He sets it up for Kanchelskis. Comes back to the scorer of Rangers' second goal, Kanchelskis. Now Barry Ferguson, who once again has been a major influence. Rangers aren't half enjoying themselves. Although Albert's got a little casual and will probably concede a free kick here. Yeah, Celtic at the moment look completely demoralised, the heads are down. And that's the one thing the supporters will not forgive you for in this game, Ian. And at the moment Celtic look as if they'd be quite happy to hear the full-time whistle and get on that team bussing away. Reset. Again, the situation is red by... Amoruso, and he's got the free kick. He's never been on the losing side in an old firm game, Lorenzo Amoruso. This is his tenth. Yeah, I think he's going to try and enjoy himself now, Rangers. 2 0 up. And he might just fancy trying to get himself on the, the score sheet as well. Oh, 
Albert's picking out Kanchelskis, who cuts inside Tebele and who sends it through to Barry Ferguson. And Wallace couldn't get any contact on it, and Gould has it. Well, it's a fabulous switch there by George Alberts in the first place. Good ball in for Barry Ferguson, who once again is prepared to get himself into the box. And Celtic have Jonathan Gould to thank again. But Celtic are now all over the place. And Amoruso is a tower of strength for Rangers at the moment. He's popping up everywhere to defy Celtic. Reina offside, that'll be against Billy Dodds and a bit of a respite for Celtic who get on with it quickly. McNamara. And Maruso again won his duel with Paducah. Doesn't get much better than this for Rangers fans. Ferguson looking to release Albert, who fends off Mialbi. It's come to Kanchelskis. Dodds is on the far side. And the free kick given against Kanchelskis. Yeah, just before that, Ian, as the ball was played through to, to George Alberts, here we see it, Andre Kanchelskis trying to win a free kick, and I think he makes the most of that. But prior to that, we had Johan Mialbe, 30 yards behind the Celtic back three on his own, playing everyone on side, no communication at all. And Bronkhorst, away by Boyd. Ferguson. Couldn't quite keep it in. Ticket Afrikat managed PSV Eindhoven and had a successful time there. He was with Haaland before that, Dutch national coach as well. He really has transformed Rangers and he will want to make his mark on Europe next season. They nearly did this season, they were very unlucky. Wallace is proving to be a bit of a pest. Here's Mialbi. Oh, this time, Amoruso has been fouled by Tommy Johnson. Yeah, Tommy Johnson just leans into Amoruso here. Just tries to, to ease him. And he was almost on his way, but Willie Young again was well up with the plate. I'll bet it's heading towards Kanchelskis, but neatly steered back by Tebele to Gould. Rangers, of course, also in the semi-finals of the Tenant Scottish Cup, where they will meet Air United of the First Division. Reina. Dodds. Kanchelskis, I don't think he's quite going to make it. Well, this is the one that we understand was ruled out for, for offside here. You see Billy Dodds trying to get himself to the front post. And as the ball is played, well... He looks level to me. And fortunately enough for Celtic, the flag went up here on the near side, otherwise it would have been 3 0. Rangers with 17 wins in 21 games at Ibrox this season. And Scott Wilson, one number 19, has tripped the other, Stilian Petrov. Yeah, rush challenge there from, from Scott Wilson, but overall he'll be well pleased with the, his afternoon's work so far. Moravchik whipped it in, and I'm not sure whether Tommy Johnson even got a glance on that, but whether he did or not mattered little. Come of the hour, come of the new man for the player cam. For the next 15 minutes, you can closely check out Rod Wallace on Sky Digital Channel 404. And you'll probably see the ball pretty close to him a few times. There's the first time as he flicked that one on, but here's Fidar Reseth. And Broncos finding his fellow countryman Newman. Dodds straight to Boyd. Those two will be teaming up with Scotland this week as they prepare to take on the world champions France on Sky Sports, of course. Wallace, Ferguson is making a lot of runs 
through the middle now. Oh, Tebbley might have showed too much of that to Dodds. He hadn't done so to give him his due. And Petrov has been caught by Van Bronckhorst. Yeah, again, I think Giovanni Van Bronckhorst is, is fortunate to escape without a yellow card here. Badly missed time challenge. And Petrov was breaking into a good position had he not been brought down. Mialbi up towards Viduka and he's wrestled to the ground by Amoruso and that's a free kick to Celtic and a chance for them here to maybe hit back. Yeah, Mark Viduka backing in here and it's been a real physical contest this afternoon. Amoruso not prepared to give any ground at all. And it gives Celtic a free kick in a, a decent position and if they are to get back into this game, they need a goal quickly. Moravchik standing over the free kick, of course. Celtic so desperately need to conjure something up from this. Moravchik whips it in, and Scott Wilson taking no chances with Mialbi lurking. He nodded it behind. Yeah, he did the right thing here, Scott Wilson. He knows that Stefan Kloss isn't coming. He doesn't know who's blindside of him, and he takes a safe option. Celtic's first corner. Moravchik whips it in. It's cleared by Alberts. Went over the head of Dodds and McNamara. Here's Petrov. Tackled by Rayner. And the throw not taken in the right place. And Rangers are going to bring on Neil McCann, who grew up a Celtic fan, but who scored two goals against them at Celtic Park last season to clinch the title. Billy Dodds makes way for the arrival of McCann. Yeah, he's the last man that Celtic will want to see at this stage. In the game starting to stretch. Celtic committing players forward. And if you want to play in a counter-attack, Neil McCann's your man. And just going back to Dodds, he did manage to put the ball in the net for the fifth league match running against, uh, the fourth league match running rather against Celtic, but it didn't count. Oh, a missed kick here, and it's put Kloss in trouble, and Scott Wilson rather relieved. Yeah, he put his hand up immediately to acknowledge the, the mistake there. Complete slice at this here, it's over Kloss's head, but again, Rainer reacts quickly. McNamara. Back to Moravchik. Here's Tebele. He turns. Booted clear by Amoruso. Wallace so determined he's got the better of Boyd. And he's found Neil McCann, who could make quite an impact. Having just come on, he lifts it over. Well, he scored from this position earlier on in the season, there, and you can see exactly what he has in his mind. Great tenacity out in the, the near side here by Rod Wallace. The ball into McCann, it's Paul Lambert who's last defender for Celtic and he's only got one thing in his mind here, the dink over Jonathan Gould who had come well outside his six-yard box. Dick Advocat not happy. Advocat unable to claim an inspired substitution. Johnson, in the end he's crowded out, but it does come to Paul Lambert. Rangers though, untroubled. As Albets looks to release Kanchelskis, but here is Tebele, now Moravchik. Petrov. Blocked by Van Bronckhorst, but Mialbi to try again for Celtic. Now McNamara. Albets is the closest man to McNamara who gets the throw in his favour Johnson here's Viduka and Newman whips it off his toes it's a corner it is time for Celtic to Launch a salvage operation. Moravchik sent it in, but it was quickly sent out by Alberts. Jackie McNamara 
delivers and Mialbi rises. Nobody was quite sure where it bounced, but Amoruso soon found out. Albert. Kanchelskis wants it on the right, but it's going, first of all, to the left. Neil McCann. McCann's cross, Wallace! Oh, what an opportunity to make it 3-0. That's a glorious chance. Delightful cross from Neil McCann, who looks up and picks him out perfectly. Claims for offside, and he may well have been as well. Tom Boyd's hand goes up immediately. He thinks Rod Wallace is offside. The flag stays down. And that was another superb chance for Rangers. Ferguson offside that time. Dick Apicat's ninth old firm game. He's only lost one of them. But boy, did he lose it. 5 1 at Celtic last season. But he always points to that game as a game that taught him a lot. Newman. Van Bronckhorst and no flag against Kanchelskis. Ferguson. Ferguson. Reina, Kanchelskis. Celtic just standing off here, not prepared to press the ball at all. Rarely see this from a Celtic side that are losing. Ferguson away towards McCann. Mark Birchall could be on soon for Celtic. McCann is on for Rangers. And Reset just got a little nick on that. Here's McNamara. Viduka. Away by Scott Wilson. Kanchelskis. Wallace hadn't made the run. Yeah, it might just be tiredness creeping into Rod Wallace, he's put himself about this afternoon, it was a good ball from Kanchelskis but uh, he just didn't fancy the chase there Rangers already strengthening their squad for next season as well, Alan Johnston will join from Sunderland, currently unknown at Bolton at the moment Paul Ritchie, who's also at Bolton after leaving Hearts, also likely to become a Rangers player. Touch defender Fernando Rickson, another target. Ferguson is wowing them at the moment. And Kanchelskis skipped away from Boyd, but settles for the throw. Amoruso. Wilson. Konchelski is a little late in going for that and Tebele able to knock it back to Gould. Boyd. Up towards Viduka. Moravchik. Not given a moment's peace by Van Bronckhorst. Celtic are going to bring off Paul Lambert, who was back for the first time in two months today, since, in fact, the Christmas Old Firm derby. He makes way for the arrival of 19-year-old Mark Birchall, named in the Scotland squad to face France this week, despite his lack of first-team shouts here. Can he give Celtic hope? Well, he gives him something different, he is, has this uh, electric pace, of course, but it's, it's asking a lot of a lad of, of his age to come on and, and turn a game like this. Paul Lambert, I think, just ran out of legs there. Certainly worth the gamble of playing him today, but uh, clearly still well short of match fitness. 
Moravchik. Nobody really in support. The Duca does help out. Tommy Johnson. Albert seemed to want a long time to clear. You don't get a long time to do much in all firm games. Petrov, Moravchik. Up towards, oh, Amoruso actually inadvertently set up Reset and Stefan Kloss forced to concede the corner. Well, he was almost in there, Vida Reset. Delightful ball in behind there, Amoruso, full stretch, and almost broke for Reset there. Once again, though, good goalkeeping by Stefan Kloss. He was quickly off his line to deal with that. Moravchik's corner met by Amoruso dispatched by Alberts there's more derby action to come later as we switch from Glasgow to the east end of London it's West Ham against Wimbledon from 3.30 right here on Sky Sports 1 and of course on Sky Sports Extra Moravchik Oh, and Voss with a rather spectacular punch away from Tommy Johnson's centre. From Broncos to Kanchelskis. Quality losing through the Rangers' ranks, although having said that, Tommy Johnson with a wonderful chance. And they got far too casual, Rangers. Yeah, just signs of slackness now starting to, to creep into Rangers' game. Too many passes along the back there. And it was a half chance for Tommy Johnson. Tight angle up. Here goes Neil McCann. Oh, he put it behind Rod Wallace and Tebbley. Was on hand. Oh, Reset. Way by Amoruso. Wilson. Ferguson. Kanchelskis takes it in his stride and Jonathan Gould is there at his near post. Moravchik. Viduka with a chance here, but look who's there again. Amoruso winning the battle with the big Aussie. Arthur Newman, McCann, Alberts, McCann again, rather wasted, heading towards the final quarter of an hour, Celtic in need of inspiration. Johnson to Petrov, to Viduka. Tried to barge his way through, and in the end it trickled through. Yeah, Giovanni van Bronckhorst did well, though, to get back and give Rain a bit of protection there as Viduka took up possession. And Rangers quite happily sat in now, two wide, Neil McCann left, Kanchelskis wide right, Rod Wallace through the middle on his own. Albert powering towards goal, I think he's going to hit one, he does, but it hit not Mialbi. Neil McCann, offside, the referee will let Celtic get on with it, despite the raising of the flag. Jackie McNamara, Reset arriving down that side, but it's away by Newman, it's going to be picked up though by McNamara. McNamara's cross. And between them, Reina and Amoruso conspire to frustrate Celtic again. And now Rangers have got a free kick. And uh, it's going to be another yellow card shown here, I think. Yeah, I think Stylian Petrov is going to get a yellow card for throwing the ball away. Ian. Fifth yellow card of this 
whole firm game. Yeah, the free kick was given against Tom Boyd and Petrov certainly didn't agree with Willie Young. For the final 15 minutes, the player cam is on Celtic's sub, Mark Birchall. Amoruso's free kick, Kanchelski's going down the middle, but the ball was going down the middle a little bit further than he was. Claudio Reyna, even though the ball had spun away from him, was still first to it. Which says something about Celtic today. McCann. Albert! He's in here! Oh, he's lifted it over. Once again, he did everything right, but applied a finish. Good ball inside by Neil McCann. Albert's first touch was good enough to take him in behind Tom Boyd. And he just couldn't judge the lob over Jonathan Gould properly. Here's McNamara. Trying to thread it through to Viduka, but Amoruso in the way, as he often has been in this game. Petrov, Virtual let it go, and Kloss racing out to make sure that Viduka didn't get much of a shout. Oh, Albert has given it away rather sloppily to Moravchik. Now McNamara. And Viduka! Oh, good effort. Yeah, it was a good effort, just couldn't keep it down, but he does well against Scott Wilson here. He's backing in and he gets half a yard for himself here. And he just can't keep the volley down. But it's good striking play this by Mark Viduka. The body strength enough to hold Wilson off. The shot just over the target though. McCann. Van Bronckhorst. That's heading towards Andrei Kanchelskis. Kanchelskis. He's got the corner. Yeah, it's good play here by Andrei Kanchelskis. And Rangers will quite happily get him on the ball as often as possible now. Just play it into the corners. You know, the clock is ticking down now. Van Bronckhorst ready to deliver again from the corner. Who will be on the end of this? Van Bronckhorst going for the far stick, but the sun that might have been a problem there for Neil McCann. The sun is certainly shining. As far as Dick Avocat is concerned, his Rangers team leading by two goals to nil. Heading 15 points clear at the top of the Scottish Premier League. Their 49th title is in sight, their 99th major honour. And of course, with the Tenant Scottish Cup still a possibility, they could complete a century of trophies this season. Although I'm sure Air United, Hibernian or Aberdeen, will have something to say about that. Celtic have had not much to say about this. Viduka. What a battle with Amoruso. And it's a goal kick. Yeah, Amoruso has played them well, Ian. It looked early in this match as if uh, Mark Viduka might get a result against the Italian defender, but... He really has got to grips with the, the biggest Australian this afternoon, Amoruso. Very, very slack in the last old firm game, the Rangers captain, but he's got his act together this afternoon. Amoruso applauding the fans who had been applauding him. We shall not be moved, the cry from the home fans, and they might just be right. Although, a goal for Celtic now would set up one heck of a finale. 
And they have a throw. Vidar Rousseff will take it. And they've got that one in, and it's come through to Tommy Johnson. Moravchik, straight through to Kloss. A good cross across the face of the goal there. One of the rare times in the match the Rangers have been exposed at the back. Kloss is positioning, though, perfect to get the body behind the, the long-range effort. Mialbi up towards Viduka. Scott Wilson to Barry Ferguson. To Claudio Reyna. Casual. One back though by Van Bronckhorst and here's Ferguson. Well, he might have got the free kick then, but he didn't. Johnson to Moravchik. And Tommy Johnson. Oh dear. Yeah, he knows it's a decent chance to get a shot on target here. It's a good exchange down the left-hand side. Good ball inside by Moravchik, and he should have done better. Any dog leash. Despondent Celtic with much to sort out, not in the least. Who's going to be the manager? Well, exactly, and it has to be sorted out sooner rather than later, and it can't be allowed to drift any longer. Johnson helped it on, and now Viduka looks to have got the better of Amoruso, but it's scrambled behind by Kloss for a corner. Yeah, it's a good save, Mark Viduka, I think, should have got the shot away earlier, though. He's half a yard up here on Lorenzo Amoruso, and it just won't fall for him properly. Moravchik looking for Mialbi. Here's Mark Birchall. Cross coming, and he says, that's mine. Scott Wilson. Kanchelskis. 1-2 with Ferguson, appears like it won't come off. Moravchik. Alberts, who's about to be substituted. Here's Newman. Now Van Bronckhorst. Oh, Van Bronckhorst has put Neil McCann in. Is this going to finish it? Alberts! It's a romp for Rangers. It's a second for Alberts. Nothing's going to stop them now. Yeah, Celtic caught stepping up there. The ball in behind. Well, I'd like to see it again. But McCann has great feet here to go down Jonathan Gould. The pullback was perfect for Alberts. And George Alberts, who's been prepared to get himself forward for most of the second half, finally gets a reward there. And that's a decent finish there. But Neil McCann, great skill here to get to the byline before pulling it back. Well, that's going to be his last contribution, because having scored, he's going to be taken off. And he, they were going to take him off just before. Good job it didn't go out of play. Two guy, the Turk. Comes on for George Albert, who once again rose to the occasion. And what a magnificent occasion the old firm game is. Sugai gets his first taste of these encounters. Albert, the two goal hero. Petrov up towards Birchall. But it really is a lost cause for Celtic now. And in truth, it always looked like it would be. Rod Wallace. Oh, 
Celtic have been beaten, well beaten. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a bit of a party going on at Ibrox at the moment. That's why the scoreboard says it all. Yeah, there's always that little bit of doubt, Ian. But uh, this result today has settled the issue once and for all. Rangers can send the, the trophy to the engravers tonight. <laughs> Two guy getting involved. It's his old firm initiation. Here's two guy. Oh, he's put Kanchelskis away. Kanchelskis. Wallace. He can't score. Van Bronckhorst can score. Giovanni Van Bronckhorst. Simply the best. Often echoes around Ibrox. Now you know why. Yeah, Celtic in absolute tatters at the back now. Once again, it was a ball inside Tevely to release Kanchelskis that caused the problem. Too quick here for Tevely. Does well to pick out Wallace, and when the shot's blocked, it breaks perfectly for Giovanni van Bronckhorst. And he more or less passes that into the net. Inside of the left foot, just bending it inside the left-hand post. Fine finish there by van Bronckhorst. And it just puts the icing on the cake for Rangers in an afternoon that they've dominated from start to finish. It's been a bit of an embarrassment for Celtic. Rangers are going for another one here. And Neil McCann, that's got to be an obstruction by Mialbi. And Rangers have got a man down. Ferguson will need a little bit of treatment. Yeah, well, certainly Craig Brown will be anxious at this uh, stage in the match. Ian has the Scotland game due on Wednesday night. And he'll want to make sure that uh, he has as many of these old firm players uh, available to him as possible. Let's hope he's OK, because he has missed a few Scotland dates, hasn't he, through injury? It's a time to celebrate. Rangers... Heading 15 points clear of Celtic. The champions, the treble winners, have more silverware in their sights. But of course, there's the other side of the story too. And this has been a sad story for Celtic and their suffering supporters. I don't think it's just losing it. I think it's the manner in which Celtic uh, have lost this game that will be the real... Uh, Difficult part of it for the Celtic fans to get their head round. Arthur Newman. Here's Van Bronckhorst. I do believe Rangers would quite like a fifth. That's going to be a free kick for a trip on... Van Bronckhorst by McNamara, who has to tread a little carefully, actually, because he's one of the men who have been booked. I don't think Willie Young would inflict more misery on Celtic by reducing them to ten men at this stage. Two guy, McCann, Van Bronckhorst. Moravchik to Burchill. It's all over. Lorenzo Amoruso led Rangers to a resounding victory in the battle for power, in the battle for greatness in Glasgow and for supremacy in Scotland. Rangers rule again. And this was a thoroughly convincing victory. 
Rangers put one over Celtic again. And did they put one over them? 4-0. It hurts for Celtic, but it certainly does not for Rangers. They got off to a flying start, of course. Celtic with appalling defending from that corner. And Dodds and Albert in the queue to score. Albert kissing the badge as usual. Kanchelskis sped away to score a second. And then Rangers wrapped it all up in style. Albert's just about to be sub scored his second of the game. And then Giovanni van Bronckhorst swept in a fourth. It's party time once again at Ibrox, and they don't half have a few parties here. And their favourite tune is in the background as well. Simply the best. It finishes Rangers 4, Celtic 0.